we use our tape measure to measure out the rough size of our sign. In our case, we're doing it about two feet, so we marked it at 24 inches. My preferred way to cut these boards down to length is using the table saw. If you don't have a table saw, you can use a miter saw. If you don't have a miter saw, you can use a circular saw. If you don't have a circular saw, you can use a jigsaw. It doesn't really matter what method you use to cut these boards down to length, because we're going to run our jigsaw around the entire perimeter to cut out the sign. If you want to make your sign even more unique, feel free to run your pieces of wood through a table saw to rip them down to various widths. If you want to stay up to date with all the videos that we release, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. After all of our pieces of wood were cut, we were ready to assemble the sign. Now we chose to kind of mix up different widths and different colors to add a little bit more spice to the sign, but you can do whatever you have with the materials on hand. We then grabbed another piece of scrap, added a little bit of glue on it, and placed it across the sign to attach all the pieces together. We then used our brad nail gun to hold the pieces of wood together as the glue dries. Now if you don't have a nail gun, you can just use clamps or you can use something like screws. And once we had the back piece connected, we were ready to go print off our design. Now you'll want to make sure that you print it off in something called poster mode, which basically just expands your entire design over a couple sheets of paper. We then took all the pieces of paper we printed out and taped them together over our sign to build the entire image. And once we had the entire image constructed, we were then ready to lay it out over our sign and figure out where we wanted to cut it. It's pretty important to use as much tape as you can on this to keep the design from slipping. After the image was taped onto our wood, we then took our jigsaw and carefully cut out the design. There are some states out there that have very interesting designs that would be extremely difficult to perfectly carve out with a jigsaw. The important thing is to not get every detail perfectly correct, but get the main shape of the state. Everybody will know what you're trying to accomplish. And after you carve out the design with your jigsaw, you're pretty much done. I chose to go back over this with a sander just to knock down some of the edges so they're not super sharp, but it's totally up to you. We use our random orbit sander for this, but you can also just use your hand and some sandpaper. After the standing was complete, we took the sign back inside and grabbed a couple of command strips. Now these are the heavy duty ones meant specifically for pictures, so they have a very strong velcro and they work great. We love using these on the walls, especially since we're in an apartment right now, and patching holes once you move out just is one more step you have to do. And with the strips on there, attaching this to the wall could not be easier. The command strips are extremely easy to apply. All you have to do is peel off the adhesive backing, apply it to the wood, and then stick the two pieces of Velcro to each other. Once you're done with that, you can just press it up against the wall, hold for a couple seconds, and you are ready to go. Overall, we were really happy with how this project turned out. Not only was it super easy to do, but it got rid of all those annoying scraps that we have laying around our place that we need to get rid of. Now you can always keep the design as it is now, or you can actually use this as the base for another project in the future. One idea would be to put some simple metal hooks on it and make it like a coat hanger or perhaps a key rack. You could also paint over it and make it a really cool DIY sign. If you want to stay up to date with us, follow us on Instagram at Spensley Design Co. That's where we're going to post pictures and progress of everything that we're doing. Now with this process, you can do any shape, any country, any state, any design that you might want. I also want to give a huge shout out to Mike Montgomery over on the Modern Builds channel. That was the inspiration for this project. Now he had done an Oklahoma one, but I wanted to do an Ohio one. Thanks for checking out this video. We got plenty more projects coming up and you can check out everything we've done on our YouTube channel and over on our website at spenceleydesignco.com.